Haben die Mashamba West Mine, Katanga Copper Crescent in the Congo. Now, the, the reddishness would, uh, would lead me to believe immediately that we're talking about iron oxides or hematite, camgurthite included quartzes. But uh, when I questioned my supplier about this, because I, I said to him, why, why on earth would you give me hematite included quartzes? We've got such lovely ones here from from our Orange River deposits in South Africa. He said something about Chalkot Richard, Chalkot Richard. Now, he's a French-speaking dude, so uh, often I don't understand him all that well. So most likely, or, or there is a possibility that we have Chalka trichard needles trapped inside this quartz, which give it this color. Well, crusty, crusty quartz, uh, very aesthetic, very, very high luster. But please look at my description. I do need to look under magnification. Uh, otherwise, we're talking of, of girthite come hematite in various stages of oxidation. Now, why I say that it's likely that we may find some Chalka Trichat needles is because the, the Moshamba West Mine is world famous for its large cuprite crystals. Now, now Chalka Trichat is a close relative. It's basically the spray variety, a little sprays of needles, varieties of the cuprite, the red cuprite. Mashamba West Mine, Katanga Copper Crescent in the Congo. Quartz with, who knows, maybe hematite? Let's see.